have situations where you kind of look at things, you know, as, as uh, Satan and God, Lucifer and, oh, yeah. and God, you know, yeah. and he, wanted, he thought he was yeah. he wanted to be equal with him. Yeah. And, uh, or just a little bit above. Yeah. yeah. And it cost him. It cost him dearly. Yeah. Not only did it cost him a good friend, it cost him uh, eternity in hell because yeah. he turned to idol worship. Yeah. Well, that's one of the downfalls of destruction of Tyre was Alexander wanted to go in there and worship in that, right. their idols in their city. And, yeah. uh, and they uh, killed his ambassadors. And now you and stop. And your thumb at him and said, uh, not today, pal. You stop and think that God would allow, <laughs> God would allow that in his territory of Asher. Yeah. 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 And, then, and, and then here comes, in, you know, Alexander the Great into that city, yeah. which was idol worship anyway. Yeah, yeah, he kind of and, worked and Alexander, idol, and they wouldn't let him. And they wouldn't let him, so he yeah. just took it. So he took it personal. Yeah. yeah well, he took it. <laughs> he took it very personal. <laughs> very personal. When, when they killed his ambassador, he said, yeah. that's, yeah, that's, that's it for you to down. <laughs> but see, God, no matter what it takes. God knew all things. Yeah. God knows all things, so he shift, you know. Yeah. So things things shifted away from, from this this tribe here, and yeah. Because they, uh, you know, they don't want to war. Yeah. That's where they are. Mm -hmm. So when you see that up on the Lebanon border up in there, mm -hmm. Beirut, Lebanon, yeah. yeah. Just think about the tribes and where they were placed. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna fight. They're gonna, they're gonna fight big time. Because mm -hmm. it's you know, <clears throat> the very anointed land up in there. Mm -hmm. Very annoying to land. When you get there, when you go there and walk there, you you understand the territory. So I know what Jackie does. She's been there. But you go up to uh, Mount Carmel where Elijah slayed all the, you know, all that yeah. stuff is right up in there. Right there. Yeah. And they went to war over that for a lot of times. And that's, you know, where Asher was up in there and Naphtali was up in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're not afraid to defend their land. A lot of sacred ground up in that area. And the ghetto was up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a big battleground. It is the big battleground. Yeah. So anyway, that's all I got on this one. But but the next one's going to be uh, very long. But mm -hmm. as you can see, these and it makes sense when you break them down. And uh, when I get to the end, I'll read the what they because there's no doubt in my mind the way they were born, the order they were born. God was speaking to speaking to us as well as the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. What is Israel doing now about the original assignments of the land and the way it's shifted around? Do they well, still they, have a... they don't, uh, they recognize you as, like, if, if you were, uh, say, out of the tribe of, uh, and, well, out of the tribe of Asher. They believe, uh, the ones I've talked to, that at Mount Sinai, when God brought all the people together, they dispersed the tribes. You know, I mean, that's just the way they are. The territories were divided, but they were one nation. They call all they all they recognize now is Judah. Mm -hmm. That's what they recognize. That's where your stuff comes in about the two houses and all this other stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, but uh, they recognize. They say because Judah will mm -hmm. Judah will never put, depart the land. Mm -hmm. Remember what it says? Mm -hmm. But Benjamin. Uh, the city of Jerusalem shall be in, the, in between the shoulders of Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Well, they are. It is. Yeah. And Levi mm -hmm. is always there because of the temple. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Those three are the only three that they recognize as being there right now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the rest of them, you know, they figure are scattered up all over the world. Yeah. And then God's going to call His people back. The only one they're crying out for right now is Issachar. Issachar. And you know, once you once you understand this, the car, you understand why they do. Mm -hmm. They're wanting them to be able to read the stars, mm -hmm. to see when the to see when the Messiah is coming mm -hmm. direct. Yeah, yeah. Because the plan is in the stars. The plan's already been done. They just yeah. You know, they just missed it. They yeah. just you know, yeah. the light bulb has to go off sometime. Yeah. And, yeah. And it will. It's just it. I think Benjamin Netanyahu was one of the keys. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about that. Man is there for a reason. Oh, he's in yeah. a key position at a key time. And he's going to, and they'll keep him right there. The people will. Yeah. Oh, Netanyahu was awesome. So, and mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, it, it, 
a lot of people say I want to be from the tribe of this and tribe of that. I know we've talked about, you know, we've talked about that stuff. I said, you know, I said, if you're Jewish, you're Jewish. That's the way they feel. You're Jewish, you're Jewish. If you know, if you're a Gentile except for Christ, you're still Jewish as far as Christ is concerned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Their thing is the ones I've talked to said salvation is to the Jew first. I mm -hmm. said, oh, I got no problem with that. <laughs> it says it says in the word, I shall grab onto the seed seed of a Jew. So yeah. no, I'll do that. Oh yeah. So you know, it's 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 uh it's just being able to communicate with them and think on their level and not mm -hmm. try and yeah. shove uh, you know, shove Christianity down in front. Mm -hmm. Minister to them by the way you walk and the way you talk. Mm -hmm. And God says in his word, love them. Yeah. Show them your love, and they, and they'll come around. There's a lot more them over there than you think there are. You can bet your boots on that. So anyway, uh, that's it for Asher. Just remember, the most prominent person to come out of Asher is a woman. So God's showing you right now. Yeah, this woman is awesome. She's totally, totally dedicated. Dedicated to prayer, dedicated yeah. to fasting. So. Yeah, she was. God let her see the Messiah. Like one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing gets me is I, I always thought in some of the movies I've seen that she was married to Simeon, who was a man who was in the courtyard looking for the Messiah because it shows them looking together, but she wasn't. She was a widow. She was a widower and a, a prophet. So anybody ask you there. It was like riding the donkeys into Jerusalem, you know? Mm -hmm. He rode, he rode them. He didn't ride a donkey. He rode them. So I do that teaching again one of these days. That's a good one with pictures. Mm -hmm. <laughs>